You may not remember this about Arminfilia. But prior to founding the Path of the Twelve, long before the Scions, she was something of a miner. After her father died, Flamine took her in and taught her the trade. I think they were both seeking to fill the void left by a loved one. Maybe that's why she took to it so readily. Back in those days, I spent most of my time in the quicksand or some other tavern, loosening tongues and gathering secrets. Occasionally, I'd catch a glimpse of her in the street on her way home after another hard day's work. I always felt a wave of relief when I saw she'd come back safe, along with a pang of guilt at the fact I wasn't there to support her as I should have been. Simply speaking with her more than once in a blue moon would have been a good start, but I could never bring myself to do it. Instead, I threw myself into my work and became every drunkard's best friend. Not too highly, no. She once called me a wine-sodden wharf rat, which wouldn't have been half as galling had it not been so accurate. But that was a lifetime ago. Here and now I have another chance to do things right, and I will not squander it again. Hey, come and see what I found. <laughs> You're not going to believe this. Tell me it's Leonine. It is at that. You lot were born lucky. It's mostly broken pieces. But look at this. This is a rather fine specimen. It's been decades since we found anything approaching this big. But that's not all. There's an engraving on it. Ah, these scratches here. They're a little hard to make out. To my beloved Magnus and Schooley. Yes! Do you see? It was a gift to Magnus from his wife. She found it. She really found it. She must have spent her final hours carving this message into the stone, in the hope that he might see it one day. Those rock-backed bastards must have made off with it before we could clear a path to her. It's fate that brought you here to find this stone. No other explanation. It makes me wonder what else might still be buried in these parts.